Hey everybody, what is going on? It's me, Kofu, and today it seems like Disney has announced a sequel to one of their very biggest hits movies of, I guess this was way back in 2018, 2019, I'm, I'm pretty not sure, but this is the sequel trailer, or an official first look announcement trailer, judging from the title of the video here from IGN. This is Moana 2. Now, there's a lot of things I could easily say about Moana 2. And this was uploaded two hours ago, keep in mind, but I'm wondering what they can do with the story of Moana. And for those that have not seen the movie, I advise you guys to watch the, watch the movie first before watching uh, my thoughts and impressions. But please go right ahead. To skip the video if you want but if you guys have seen it then continue watching so yeah Moana 2 after the first movie it was about a tribal uh, princess trying to save her save her village and her family from certain doom needing the help of not only from her uh, from her family but also from a god a god that we all know as Maui, who we all know is played by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And for those that don't know who he is, he is a he is very. In, I'm pretty sure he must be influential or probably mostly involved in the in the production of this movie, and also giving out a I would say a lot of like inspiration because. With his, uh, with his background, not only is he uh, as a, a professional wrestler and also a, a big box uh, big box office movie star, he's also part of the uh, part of a, a, a family of, uh, of uh, a lineage of, of uh, people from the Samoan Islands. And this has, I would say, a lot of influence on it. Not only is the character that Maui looks like is based off of, I, of uh, for those that don't know, that uh, I think this is like his, great, I would say, grandfather maybe or great grandfather. Uh, the the family the family uh, tree is really big for where Dwayne Johnson comes from, but the the the, the character of Maui is based off of the high chief Peter Maivia and that and this is a Samoan uh, a Samoan legacy that he is carrying on and that's why uh, I would say this movie is mostly based off of that and also behind the history of of the lineage of and the uh, the, the tribes and whatnot and I'm not I'm not sure this the right word for it but I've, I've, I am very sorry if I am offending any of you guys that are are the indigenous people or part of the Samoan dynasties but this is very interesting because the story is amazing it's original and it's not ripped off from anything else this is a really truly unique story but to have a sequel now I really am curious about it and you guys are wondering when am I gonna play this 16 second trailer I might as well let's take a look because this is my first time as well but this is just mostly a thoughts and impressions uh, well there's Moana uh, uh, oh wow in November huh okay well that was obviously short so it seems like the family has found themselves a new island after what happened to their first island in the first movie. Or, I, I don't know if it is the first island, but after their home was was destroyed, I would say, or consumed, they had to find a new place to live, and I'm pretty sure they found it with that island that Moana is standing on there. And... I would say I do really do have high hopes for this. I really do, because there there is a lot of things that can can 
that could be told within the story. Because there's a lot of stuff that I really want to know about if the family did make it to a new, a new island safe and sound. Did the whole tribe survive? And uh, what's going to happen to Maui? Because Maui had received his, uh, his iconic weapon back from the gods. And now, do we see him in this movie? That's the other question. Do we actually get to see him? We don't know. All I know is this is going to be something I'm, I'm looking forward to. And this, I would say this is by far something I was not expecting from Disney to, uh, to release or to make a sequel of. Because with uh, Disney's uh, route right now, they've been doing a lot of things lately with like turning Disney classics into... I would say AI, almost real life humanized actors. When I, what I mean by that is there are some parts of Disney movies that are like, C, well, not CG or AI mostly, but it's been high tech and upgraded from hand, hand drawn animations that we all knew and loved from way back when. I mean, look at me, I love The Lion King. And when they turned that into live action, I was. I was I was surprised that they were able to pull it off. I won't deny. I won't deny there are some parts that I did hate about the live action Lion King, but there are some, the, the rest of it was amazing though because of how much effort it took for them to do stuff like that. And but for this one though, this is I'm pretty sure this is all animated. Nothing is AI or nothing is CG, CG or live action about this. This is mostly, I'm going to say, animated. Hmm. What do I expect from this kind of a movie is, I would say, I'm expecting a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, problems. I'm going to expect that because there's going to be new problems set for Moana. Obviously, uh, she's the main, main focus of the stories, or this movie, obviously. Otherwise, why call it Moana too? There, there's got to be something that has left unfinished, and I'm, and I'm pretty sure that we we will see Maui, but in what way? There's got to be something that must be uh, must be answered. So, that's my thoughts and impressions of Moana two. Obviously, this is. At the time I'm, I'm recording this, this was two hours ago that this video was uploaded and I'm just right now giving my thoughts and impressions as, as, you guys, as to you guys right now. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will be uploading more thoughts and impressions of other movies and other Disney sequels and other stuff in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Take care guys. Bye bye.